welcome back to another die cast review. Today, we have a very beautiful die cast that was in the haul from earlier today, and it is Kurt Busch's 2022 McDonald's Darlington Throwback. This is not the cursed Pocono McDonald's car, uh, this is the Darlington Throwback car, and this has given me some massive retro vibes. McDonald's absolutely nailed this one, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get out of the box. Alrighty guys, now that we got this die cast here out of the box, it does come on a base, uh, so this one will not be in the Authentics line, uh, since it is a McDonald's car and their weird boy, like weird die cast restrictions that they just put on, and it's kind of annoying, um, but it's okay, we still got this die cast in the preferred gold series line, um, it's just nicer because the um, Authentics ones are a bit cheaper, and you can find them bit easier I guess. So here is this beautiful retro die cast and it really did its job in giving it some throwback vibes. I'm not quite sure what this is throwing back to but it is definitely a contender for throwback of the year. Uh, I, I don't think it's number one. I think still the Coil of Joy stacking pennies is number one um, but still this is really really awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and take a deeper dive into it. So let's take a look here at the hood. You got the big old McDonald's logo. And what really gives this its retro vibe is these kind of pinstripes that come down here. And then you have the white here in the front. That is so retro to me. And I didn't notice it had that uh, until someone I follow on Instagram posted this die cast. I love it. I love this front end. And it looks so good. You got the McDonald's logo. Of course, you do have to have the air vents there to kind of uh, disrupt that. McDonald's logo, but it's alright. Up front here we have the Camry logo, um, well the Camry front end I should say. 2311 Racing and number 45, Snooko on both sides as well. And the white Camry fronts are such a clean front end, like look at that, that is so clean. I absolutely love that, uh, so sharp. And these white Goodyear tires to go along with it that they only use for the Darlington race just looks so good. Uh, so I highly recommend picking this one up, but do it quick because this is probably going to be the last Kurt Busch throwback diecast that gets produced. So I would highly recommend picking this one up so that you have this last Kurt Busch diecast. So we'll go to the left side of the car here. We got the blue Goodyear logo. I mean, I think it would have looked better in yellow, like the yellow Goodyear logo, because it would have went along with the McDonald's colors, but that's all right. Over here you got Throwback Weekend and NASCAR Salutes. I think the Coca-Cola 600 was a little bit later that month. Uh, because they did run this May, so yeah, it would have been later that month. Speaking of NASCAR Salutes, we have a couple patriotic cars to review here on the channel coming soon. We have the William Byron Liberty University th er, Salutes and the Alex Bowman Ally Salutes. Along with the Todd Gill and Boot Barn car that we'll be reviewing very soon here. Um in the next couple of days, so be on the lookout for that, guys. Um, those should be fun reviews to do. I got the nice big number 45 here, and I've noticed a lot of the double-digit cars this year um, have had the smaller numbers. Like, the single-digit cars have been fine, but the double-digit numbers have been pretty small. Uh, just allude to this Alex Bowman uh, salute scar. Like, look how small the 48 is, but if you take the 45 right here, it's much bigger and it takes up a lot more door space, and I, and I just prefer this so much better. Um, with how much door space it takes up. That looks so good. Really, really sharp there. You got the big M there at McDonald's. So they're using all the sponsorship space, which is really good thing to see because not a lot of teams do that. Um, the Toggle and Boot Barn card looks really good. They use that. But there are just a couple select schemes this year that don't do a great job. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm coughing a little bit in this video. I'm not really feeling the greatest, so... Uh, just bear with me there, but uh, yeah, so we'll go to the back end of this die cast here. You do have some of that black from the uh, back quarter panels here. Um, it kind of comes onto the back end of the car, uh, and that's pretty sharp too. Um, so you got some really, really cool stuff here on the back of the car. You got the Camry logo, you got McDonald's, Toyota, McDonald's, and the number 45 TRD up there as well. 
go to the right side of this die cast. Everything looks pretty good on this die cast so far. Uh, not really any flaws here. You got Rejewel. I, I think that's what that is. I have no idea. Yeah, Jordan Brand Ombrace, which is another pretty cool die cast or pretty cool scheme that Kurt Busch ran this year, but I do not believe that will be made in die cast form. You got McDonald's and then McDonald's logo as well. Kurt Busch here. And up here on the B post, forgot to do this on the other side. Let's see if we can get a nice little zoom in there. There we go. We got Toyota Moneyline, Mobile One, Mac Tools, and 2311 Racing. So pretty cool there. You got the big old number 45 once again with Darlington Throwback and NASCAR Salutes. So let's go to the roof here of this die cast. You got a big number 45, two little McDonald's logos. I wish they kind of would have done like they did here, um, but unfor unfortunately they did not. It's all good though. Look at the banners here. We got Kurt Busch and Kurt Busch on the back as well. Nothing on the deck lid, which is a little unfortunate. Wish they would do something there, but it's all right. But what a cool die cast this is. I'm so glad to have it in my collection. Um, it's probably going to be, like I said, it's probably going to be the final Kurt Busch uh, Darlington throwback. So, um, glad that we're able to get it into the collection. Um, and a really, really awesome paint scheme to go along with it. Um, so, really glad to have this in the collection and super excited to use it in my stop motion series on my other channel. I'll link that down in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and check that one out. Um, we'll have some stop motions coming up here very soon. So yeah, that'll about wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, turn the red subscribe button gray, and uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.